Ready? Okay. As I explained before, this test equipment consists of three main parts. One sensor, which is in the borehole. We already put it in borehole. One receiver here, and one computer there. Maro. When they hit uh, the steel plate, steel plate. When they hit this steel plate for P wave generation, that yellow uh, sensor detects the heat, and it uh, communicates with the receiver and tells the receiver, okay, start the recording. The recording starts from then, and the, the time duration, the duration that this P wave reads to that uh, sensor which is in the borehole, this T, this time is recorded by that computer. It is very important for us, as I explained in the formulation. <coughs> that wooden blanket under the wheels of this truck, it's for generating, it's for uh, shear wave generated. So we hit from right and from left to uh, generate shear waves and same as P wave. The sensor, the trigger, detects the heat and uh, tells to computer to start the recording and then the waves re reach the sensor of the sensor from the This is, let me explain a bit about the anatomy of this sensor. This is the packer here. When this goes to certain depths, this packer, we pack it and this uh, becomes locked in the borehole. This has three uh, main orthogonal sensors in directions for P wave and two for S waves. So it doesn't matter in which direction it goes, it can detect a wave. And uh, that's pretty. And uh, here is where the sensor is almost located. Not the exact point, but... After, after some tests, after one test or two tests, we need to change this packer here. Hmm. New one. New one, yes. It's like bicycle tube. Yes. Bicycle uh, tire. Yeah, <laughs> bicycle tire. We open this and put this there. It's not a um, time consuming procedure.